All right, well, we are joined by the one, the only skating extraordinaire, Adam Rapon, Olympic medalist, national champ, commentator, Dancing with the Stars champion, and now you are an author of this amazing book. Adam, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Today's like a, a really big day. I'm sure there's a lot of pent up energy and a lot has gone into this. So congratulations. I want to take you back though in time just to see if you remember me. 2009, Sofia, Bulgaria, your second Junior Worlds. I skated with Chris, Chris Kinnearum back in the day. Oh, I remember. And I think that everybody who's watching, you should know that um, Bryn is a very fantastic skater. Well, thank you. I loved doing twists and lifts and throws. <laughs> Pairs was the name of the game. And then um, I grew a little late, got pretty tall, about 5'7", and had some foot injuries. So switched <laughs> gears to TV. But it's nice to be uh, doing this and coming back to Colorado Springs, where I spent a lot of time training. Um, it's been it's been a good adventure. And um, I've been reading your book. I got it in the mail yesterday. And I'm about 50 pages in. And I'm learning so much about your early days on the ice. I, of course, have followed your skating career but you never got the popcorn tin ladies muff, but now you have an Olympic bronze and a mirror ball. Would you say that kind of counteracts it? I feel like, you know what? Sometimes good things happen to good people. And because I didn't get that popcorn tin or the muff, it's, it's balanced out now. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, have you been writing this book for a long time or was it something you did after the Olympics? Um, you know, I've always wanted to write a book, so I, I've thought about what I would include in it. Um, but after the Olympics was the first time I actually sat down and started compiling different stories and writing. And uh, I, I'm really proud of what I was able to kind of put together. But it's taken a while, and it, it was uh, a lot harder than I thought. Like, you know, I've written a long text message before, and I was <laughs> like, that's basically a chapter. It's not. So, but I, I'm so happy and, and really proud of what I was able to do. You should. It's uh, really well done, super witty, it had me laughing. I was reading it in the newsroom this morning, so it's an excellent book. And I want to talk a little bit, since the Olympics, your fame has obviously skyrocketed. You're on Dancing with the Stars, you're doing a lot of commentary, um, even getting involved in some other projects. You've been busy, but do you miss the day-to-day -day training and competing? I have to tell you, I don't know if this is something that you went through, but uh, you miss it a lot. It's that daily grind, and um, it can be really challenging uh, transitioning out of being an athlete into another career. And uh, you just focus so much time on one thing for such a large chunk of your life that all of a sudden you switch gears. And, and I'm very lucky to have so many projects that I'm working on and, and coming up on. But it's, I, I miss it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really grateful and I love what I do now, but it, it's, a, it's a tough, it's a, it's a lot tougher than you would think. It is a tough transition. You're spending so many hours on the ice in the gym with that one laser focus and then all of a sudden it's over and it's time to find something else. So we're happy that you found this. You found your book. You're doing a lot of amazing Thank things. You. Congratulations. Of course, I have to ask, skating season, of course, is upon us. Skate America is this weekend. Who are you keeping your eyes on this year? Well, obviously, Nathan Chen, he's like our wonder boy. So I'm going to be cheering on Nathan. Um, and then uh, my teammate from the Olympics, Brady Tunnell, is also competing. So I'm super excited to cheer her on as well. We are excited. I can't wait for the season to get going. A lot of up and coming talent. It is going to be good. And uh, Adam, again, thank you so much for talking with us. It's good to see you. It's been a lot of years. It's been a decade. It has. It has. And I'm so glad. Look, it's full circle. We finally get to chat again. It is full circle. Best of luck with your tour. Maybe I'll stop by in Boulder. I know you're coming on October 21st next Monday. So best of luck when you uh, come to Colorado. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see everybody there. And hopefully, Bryn, I can see you there too. Absolutely. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.